Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms. So, uh, a while ago I left for a week and just when I prepared everything I had a quick look at my aquaponically grown chili pepper and I realized I, there's a fruit, there's a fruit. Uh, yeah, I didn't even expect that to happen very first time that an aquaponically grown chili pepper uh, finally got it that it uh, produces fruits uh, with this system originally utilizing freshwater isopods but now uh, having switched over to uh, bladder snails uh, all by themselves uh, they have probably outcompeted the freshwater isopods um, anyway uh, when i returned uh, about a week later um, the fruit was starting to ripen there's a little a little bit of orange at the uh, um, near the stem and uh, a few weeks uh, a few days uh, later it had a nice uh, traffic light composition with uh, um, um, red, orange and green. And uh, about two weeks uh, after I found the fruit it had completely ripened and now a few days um, after it has turned red I am going to taste test it and consume it. Uh, well my uh, breeding goal is to produce a small fruited super hot chili pepper and uh, yeah it is rather small, that would be very fitting for my uh, breeding program. Um, uh, but unfortunately, the only other fruit that I spotted so far is uh, this one here. And uh, so seeds could be a problem if this one is uh, indeed uh, what I want. Um, so I will cut it open and look for fruits before I consume it. Mm. It is um, Carolina. Uh, it is the Cariolokia screepa, strain zero, F three generation. Um, it was already in quite a few videos, uh, um, but now this particular individual, individual number two, um, I taste tested a sibling of it earlier um, this year, but this one had. Uh, Fruits that were too big, basically. So let's find out this one. Yeah. Rambling. Let's get that into business. Just pluck it off. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Yeah. Quite small. Yep, that's it. So there we have it. Split open. Smells rather, well the first um, burst of smell was rather fruity, but now mm, it smells a bit more generic. Anyway, I have prepared in the usual way. Um, with lots of oats and fatty milk, and I have some milk on hand. I just try to. I have five seeds from this fruit, so let's go. Uh huh. Uh huh. It burns. Sweet. <coughs> A bit 
bit acidic. Tasty. Mm. But I guess the heat well, is more in line with a spicy habanero, I guess, so far. Oh, it's, oh it keeps getting more. It's almost like a stinging sensation. can hear the air bubbling in the aquaponic system. <laughs> if you want to call it an aquaponic system, it's just an empty water plant bucket, some aquarium water, and originally freshwater ice pots, but now just bladder snails that took over, and I feed it with old chili leaves, like fish food, mostly once a week. Okay, mm. taste. <coughs> Definitely a solid 8, if not 9. No, let's... let's um, let's say 9, I'm feeling generous today. Um, heat in my mouth. Um, yeah, not quite what I'm hoping for. Could be more, could be more. I guess it's... I think it's less than the last one, but that could just be related to the larger fruit size of it. Specimen number one of the Caterpillar Squeeper Strain Zero F3 that I tested this year earlier. Mm, heat. Huh. Heat in the mouth. Um, I guess also an. If I'm being generous, an eight maybe. And heat in the belly. It's just uh, arriving there, I guess. <clears throat> well, first of all, I'm happy that <laughs> fruits appeared at all on this plant. It is alive. Uh, it's been seeded out <laughs> quite some time ago, and I guess it was still in one of those more logistically problematic years, and I did not receive any fruits from it. But now this year, uh, finally managed, and with a, an interesting system, let's say. Yeah, a heat in the stomach. Hmm. I guess a three so far. That could be just because I prepared so very well. Hmm. And of course, although it did produce fruits, uh, maybe this uh, situation is not ideal for producing heat. Could also be <laughs> better for producing heat because it's uh, slightly stressful for the plant, maybe in this system. But I don't know. Um, yeah, I will stay at a three for the heat in the stomach. And if that changes, <laughs> as it did in the last video. I will uh, record a little appendix, but so far. Mm. Yeah, slightly disappointed. I was hoping for more heat. Mm. Well, it's, it's a solid heat level, but not what I'm looking for. But I will keep those five seats and I'm looking forward to trying out the next berry. Maybe it's a bit more variable between the fruits. Alrighty then, mm. I guess this is it. Thank you. 
Tot. You still watching? Super.